on the island of Evia. Shayla Damos shares a new approach to agriculture, creating food forests which mirror natural ecosystems, including the Amazon. So you will see after a bit that it's all going to be full of white mycelium. Not Great, yes. which is how things connect, isn't it? Yes, so exactly. Maybe I can even find you some. Explain to me what a food forest is and, and what it looks like here in Greece. A food forest is a, a space where you have a combination of many different plants uh, and trees and you combine them in a way that you mimic a forest. Do they want more light so they are high layer? Do they want more shadow so they are low layer? and you combine them in a, in a smart way so they co-support each other. We think of ourselves now as separate from nature because we talk about living in the face of nature or the threat of nature, but we should just naturally be a part of it. So we can play a very crucial functional role in this system rather than just being outside of nature and extracting resources that we never replenish. Is this the solution? Can all life be like this going forward in our relationship with Gaia? I think for me it's the only way it can happen because nature works like this. Nature never grows a monocultures. We all in the end have to follow the rules of nature. And if we try to not follow them, it comes always with a very big cost. Like we have to put much more energy into our system. We have to buy fertilizer that comes from very far, that is petrol based. It's not a resilient system. It's so fascinating for me because the ancient Greeks thought of Gaia as a sentient being, as a kind of creature with intelligence. Do you think that Gaia can think? Mm. I think it's a bit difficult to put a, a word that humans created on such an yeah, intelligent, uh, smart organism like our cosmos, basically, our Earth, our planet. I mean, if you research a bit how, how the forest actually how all the elements are so much synchronized and orchestrated it's brilliant we could never design such a smart system we have lost connection to it and we don't even see the interrelations do you think there is a chance that gaia actually doesn't need us that she would be better off without being inhabited by humans mm. I think this, it, it really depends on, on, on uh, the evolution of our um, awareness, actually. Like, we have to really make a leap to go away from this individualistic point of view. It's so fascinating that, because the ancients always said that, that it was impossible for humanity to be happy unless people respected Gaia. If we fail to see this uh, synchronization and this intelligence, we are missing, like, a very big point about Gaia and this... Uh, very, yeah, this beauty, beauty also about the earth.